This is Perspectives with Lon Delacroix and Rodney Grimes. Perspectives is San Antonio's number one historical news program. Thank you, San Antonio. Greetings and welcome to Perspectives. I'm Lon Delacroix. And I'm Rodney Grimes. As you know, here on Perspectives, we cast our glance backward, scouring our archives here at the station to alert you to what was making news in the past. And we let you know what you should have been worried about a mere three months after Ronald Reagan's first inauguration. Yes, well, tonight, we bring you a story of armadillos, leprosy, and embattled Converse Mayor Buddy Dickey and his tangles with the primitive airport security of the early 1980s. Rodney. A mere three years after presiding George W. Bush-like over the racist cult cesspool known as Converse Texas, idiot manchild Mayor Buddy Dickey caused a panic when he tried to take his prize-winning armadillo on board a flight to Tupelo, Mississippi, en route to the Great Texas Armadillo Cookout, or TACO. Yeah, he tried to take a live armadillo on board a plane. Other than that being a horrible idea, there is a real serious reason you ought not go messing with no armadillo. Reporter Buffy Hinojosa Altacredi explains. The armadillo looks harmless, but this creature may be making some of us sick. Scientists have found some animals in Louisiana and Texas that were carriers of leprosy, also called Hansen's disease. Wow! What do you know? Armadillos carry disease! Hey, great idea to take one onto an airplane, huh? Wait, it gets better. Dr. Strauch says the disease is rare, with only about 4% of the population having a chance to catch it. Of 500 cases reported in Texas, most are in South Texas along the coast. And the man behind the outbreak? Converse mayor and armadillo consumption enthusiast, Buddy Dickey. The man has slaughtered and eaten at least 100 armadillos and acquired uh, Hansen's disease infection in the nerves of his hand. What proof there's no God? Think of a sweet, innocent baby. Of all the promise their young life holds. Of all the wonderful experiences they'll one day have. Of all the dreams they'll one day fulfill. And then realize that once upon a time, someone thought those exact same things about that backwoods dwelling deviant, Buddy Dickey, who slaughtered and ate more than a hundred armadillos and gave himself and hundreds of others across South Texas, leprosy. The gift of life suddenly doesn't seem so divine now, does it? Your Bible might as well be propping up the short leg of a prostitute's ah, back. You arrogant, insolent little <laughs> Where do you get off scandalizing religion? The Bible! In a story about a respected public official advocating the eating of armadillos, you have absolutely no integrity. I just thought I'd throw in my perspective. Stop using that word like that. Act like a <laughs> journalist. You're using the title of the show, the show that I created and nurtured and gave my life to since before you were born as a way to insult me. This is outrageous. I, I can't do this. Bob, Bob, this little just pushed me over the edge. What? <laughs> Getting kneecapped on live TV during the King Riots was less painful than this. I mean, are we done? Am I, am I clear? Where'd he go?